You remember the uh, sh uh, the uh, local mayor in uh, Southern California who sent out the watermelon email? Uh, no Easter egg hunt on the uh, White House lawn this year, and then instead there was a whole bunch of watermelons on the lawn. See, that was very clever. Uh, well, uh, unfortunately for uh, Los Alamitos Mayor Dean Gross, that controversy is caught up with him. He is stepping down. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. <laughs> Down goes Gr Mayor Gross. Down goes Mayor Gross. I'm not sure I'm that excited about that, but uh, it's interesting that, you know, look, he sends out an email with, uh, you know, an offensive joke, and uh, and it costs him his job. And, hey, look, at least in this case, there was quick action, no question about it, and people were not buying it, and they weren't having it. The only thing that this story gets wrapped up fine, and, you know, look, he deserves what's coming to him for making that dumbass joke, right? The only thing that bothers me about this is even in his resignation letter, as he continued to prof profusely apologize, he still was lying, and it drives me crazy. Why was he lying? He said, oh, I didn't realize it would be offensive. But you see, that e that picture with the watermelons in the White House lawn doesn't make any sense unless it's a racial joke. I don't, how could you not have known it? Then why did you send it? Why did you think it was funny? Jared, do you get it? I don't know. It's times like this when you hear the guy stepping down and you go, oh, that kind of sucks, you know? Although I think it's the right move. It's one of those things when I'm, yeah, cool, he should step, by, step down because he's representing people. He's overlooked. He's a mayor of a town. Mm -hmm. And if he has these type of views, that's not the job he should be in. Now, then for, but still to back your mind because, you know, maybe you're a nice guy, you still go, that sucks, man. Yeah, it, no, it, yeah. idiot shouldn't have sent that. Because I wonder, I wonder how else he ran the city. Whatever. But then, then again, when he goes out and says and continues to say stupid things like this, then you don't feel sorry for him anymore. You're like, it was the best decision. Because then, he, if he's going to keep covering this up, I don't want him there. He he, he has no right being in that position. It, look, I, my only problem is that I agree with you 110. percent You know, and I'm glad you said that because it's like I looked at it, and a part of me felt like. Ah, oh, man, it cost him his job. That kind of sucks, right? Even though I thought it was so stupid, you still kind of feel bad with the guy. And maybe that's because we're libs, you know? We're liberals. So we feel for other people. And, but, and, and I, the other thing is, I can't quite tell if he's the kind of guy who's like, and you know these guys who are goofy and will make inappropriate jokes and not realize they're inappropriate. The guys at the Rotary Club who are like 71 and they still think it's okay to say, you know, a number of things you shouldn't be saying, and he didn't really mean any harm, and who knows if he was a good mayor or not. He c it could be that, or it could have been the kind of guy who loves these things and knows exactly what it is and has a malicious streak and the guy you don't want running your town. Okay. Now, I don't know which one of those guys it is, but after seeing the apology, after he steps down, I'm exactly with JR. I I'm not shedding a tear here, because you've got to at least say that it was a racial joke. Because... Uh, Seriously, if you got this, and some of the people, when we put this up on YouTube, I saw some of the comments, they like they didn't realize that that was a stereotype for African Americans. Watermelons and, and fried chicken, right? But if you don't realize that, then how does it make any sense? It's like, you know, having a, a White House lawn full of guava. Why is that funny? I don't, it's, you know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense. Why would you send that email to anybody? Come on, come on. If, if, if someone tells a joke, or they talk about a turtle flying. You hear about the, you know, and then, then the turtle took off flying in the air, and you go, "I don't get it. it doesn't make any sense." Yeah. I don't if you don't get that. it, why would you for, why would you go and tell your next friend? Hey, I heard this joke that made no sense to me today. Let me tell it to you. <laughs> All right. So down goes uh, the mayor of Los Alamitos.